A lot of us spend a lot of time trying to be the person that we perceive others want us to be. Mm -hmm. I see that all. I was that person actually. People blaming. Yes, it's mm -hmm. like well, I've never been good at that. Today, Karen, I am going to be. Um, but it's it's tr because you want to fit in, because you want to comply, because you want to be accepted. Mm -hmm. um, I, I was that person. Yeah, and I think that's that's present partly because of what black people have to go through some of the time. Do I think. think I do. Because I think that there are things, you know, you said it yourself earlier, you know, that is how difficult it is and mm. the funding and some of those restrictions. And even though, you know, the glorious person that you are that can easily sideline that and, and literally there. put it to the side, it doesn't stop it being it's there. And it breaks it's my heart to, you know, and, and I think I've almost not, I've not acknowledged that, that that's ever been an issue being brought up in a family that was the least ist that you couldn't possibly mm. imagine on any level. And it's only through talking to some of my greatest friends where they've told me what they've been, I mean, you know, literally I could cry. Mm. Um, but what I do remember is being at school and inviting my great friend Sheila Tour, um, I was in primary school, for tea. And it kept not happening and she kept saying, oh, I don't think I can. And, and I thought, this is ridiculous. So. I said, you must ask your parents. She looked black. Yeah. And um, I, I think her mother picked her up from school one day. And I said, Mrs. Tua, um, Sheila must come for tea. You know, she must come for tea. And then that evening, my mother got a call from her father to say, um, I believe that you've invited Sheila for tea. And my mum said, yes, that's absolutely right. And he said, um, but I, I, I wanted you to understand that, she's, that, that we're black. And I, oh, I mean, that just gives me. And, and that was the first time that I had encountered, like, and I said to my mum, why would that be, why is that an issue? Why is that, you know, I just couldn't even understand it. And I think I find it so abhorrent that I, I too ignore it. Yeah. And so I think sometimes it's good to just bring that to the fore and say, I agree. Um, it is something that, that I completely agree with you. I think. Uh, it, it's 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 a very interesting topic. I think we should talk about this actually, maybe in another session or whatever. Yeah. But when I've talked to people and said to people, I don't see the glass ceiling. If it's glass ceiling is there, then I put it there. Sometimes people interpret that as well. Maybe you haven't gone through what we've gone through. Maybe because your husband is white for so many funny old mm -hmm. reasons. I'm a black woman, mm -hmm. right? And people say to me, I don't see color. You must be completely blind because I'm a mm -hmm. black woman. Mm -hmm. I'm proud of my heritage. I'm proud of where I'm from. I'm British Nigerian. I'm Nigerian to the core. And I'm English to the core. Whatever it is. But every day, every single day of my life, as soon as I walk out my door, something happens that makes me aware of my skin color. Mm -hmm. That's what people don't understand. Mm -hmm. that's, that's the reality mm -hmm. black people live every day. Mm -hmm. I don't cry raised, I don't cry all, all these things, I have my personal opinions, but for me, people are people, mm -hmm. you know, things have happened, you know, slavery, being colonized, all this stuff, they've happened, we can't, we can't change it, and we can keep talking about it, but how do we move forward? But moving forward doesn't mean not acknowledging no, exactly. what, what, what it is, the situation, mm -hmm. you know, and it's not going anywhere. I've got mixed race children. I think I told you this mm -hmm. a couple of weeks ago, mm -hmm. where at home we said to our children, if you hear a swear word or whatever, hey, this is an open house, come back, ask your parents, we'll be completely transparent. And our children do that. They'll come back. In fact, it makes us uncomfortable thinking, oh God, what are they coming back with today? A little boy came back, he's 10 years old. He went to talk, he said, what, what, what was the N word? And I thought, okay, tell me what the word is. So I want to make sure that we're on the same page and we know what the N-word is. He was so uncomfortable. I said, you want to write it down? He said, you can't, you can't whisper it. I said, okay, yeah. Um, okay, so they're twins. So go get your sister. Because I'm going to say this only once. Only once. I've, I've gone through it with your older brother. So I'm going to say it only once. And we talked it through. Oh, my goodness. It's heartbreaking. Mm -hmm. And these are things that some parents who aren't, 
black will not understand that children go through. Did somebody call you at that at school? How did you hear about it? Blah blah. I went to it with my son Isaac as well. Mm -hmm. I cried that day. Mm -hmm. It's hard because these are innocent children. It's like, well, why? You know, and my daughter asked me. And the other children have to get it from somewhere. Yeah, absolutely. My my, my daughter said to me, well, um, why do black people use it in songs as well? Mm -hmm. I said, oh, the spelling is different, for starters. Uh, but when somebody is sort of using derogatory language at you and you feel like you're taking that word and you're owning it and flipping it so I'm owning this word right now so you can say all you want I say it every day mm -hmm. in my songs so I'm, mm -hmm. oh, I'm taking ownership mm -hmm. and I'm empowering myself mm -hmm. with it um, I just was said why can't we do that with every swear word <laughs> oh, you just think you know yeah um, and, and injecting that innocence and, and not f fun into it as well, not making it this thing that our children have to carry mm -hmm. as a burden. They yeah, have you, to you want it. to create it so it's not a chip, exactly. so it's not a thing, exactly. and it's to remove the thing. Because once I make it, it becomes a chip, it, they will carry it, and it will become an issue, mm -hmm. and it will become an op I'm not saying that I will not make them aware. Mm -hmm. They know that their mother is a black woman and they, f they will face stuff every day because mm -hmm. although they're mixed race, the world sees them as young black children. Mm -hmm. That's what they are. Mm -hmm. So it's make, is that set awareness again? Mm -hmm. You know, and knowing how to react when someone throws those stones at you. Yeah. And it's interesting also, it's, the, it's, when, it is, it's when it's an innocent comment as well. Mm. So this is, you know, and this is why I mentioned it really, is that you said to me that, uh, I think it was one of the shows, when you were promoting Naturally Tiwa, and you spoke to a Caucasian person, mm -hmm. and they said, oh, I thought it was only for black skin. Yeah, because I'm a black woman and I own the brand, so and the assumption I've gone away, <laughs> But I've gone away after that, and, I've, uh, and I, I was driving home, yeah. and I thought, it's skin. It is skin. How I, for me, I see it as differently because my, my, my mother um, used Clarence, my yeah. mother used Clinique, yeah. Elizabeth Arden. Uh -huh. They were not created by black people, no? That's what I'm they saying. So, you know, so, I thought, why would I have a brand that and say... It's my point. If you limit yourself, you limit, um, sort of you have that limited mindset, that limit, if you choose to sit and live within a society that you call your tribe, that look like you, that act like you, da, 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 and mm -hmm. you don't diversify, you limit yourself. Mm -hmm. You don't, you acknowledge who you are, you own who you are. You know, the queen that I am, I own. However, I'm a businesswoman. My products are for everybody. And skin is skin. And skin is skin. So you wouldn't question and say can clowns be used on black skin absolutely would you what happens with the pro with tiwa for example naturally tiwa products is the fact that okay i can tell let's say a white person's bought my product right today and a black person's bought my product today the black person's going to come back for repeats quicker the repeat business for the asian person is about a month whereas for the black person about two weeks. But do you think that's because you were telling me how when you were younger it's our skin. It was but also it's, it was used every day. So it, it was a ritual. It, uh, it's it's our skin. Our yeah. skin needs constant Absorb. hydration. Mm -hmm. It eats this stuff. Mm -hmm. It absorbs this mm -hmm. stuff. If not we go ashy. Mm -hmm. But my husband will use our we have this my husband uses the Yara body food. I use the Agu body food. Mm -hmm. My Agu is gone before Davis gets halfway. Mm -hmm. Because he takes it and he's just dab 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 he does not moisturize to... from head to toe. Like we're taught to from childhood, you mo like for children. Yeah, but we're not. Children will moisturize mm -hmm. from head mm -hmm. to the soles of their feet every morning and every evening after they have a bath. Yeah, we aren't. That isn't how we're taught. I know. And so it isn't even necessarily about the skin. It's about the... It's a, yeah, exactly. It's about the ritual, like, right? Well, Which is what I'm saying. I remember somebody saying to me, I'm going to have a wash. I said, what's a wash? 
So the wash is, you know, like if you don't want to have a full shade, you take flannel and clean all the. I said, no, we're not doing no washes. <laughs> <laughs> no, it's, you get in this, you wash everything, and yeah. da, 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 so my, 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 my children, nobody's doing any washes in this house. <laughs> and you have a bath and from head to toe. Mm -hmm. So skin is skin. skin, is skin. It's just that, you know, the way you a bit like medication. Water. It will, if I, if I take. You can take paracetamol probably. Mm -hmm. I can't. I hate it. It doesn't work for me. Mm -hmm. Another brand works for me. Yeah. I can't take Coca Cola one for example. Exactly. Yeah. Mm -hmm. So but that's exactly what it is. Mm -hmm. Different um, brands. It's, it's knowing hair, hair, hair types. That's right. Absolutely. It's knowing people, knowing the demographic, mm -hmm. and understanding people, and realizing that uh, we 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 we're, we're, we're the same. We're human beings. I've never been able to get my head around why we would treat someone different or be different with somebody just because of the color of their skin. I live it every day. I don't get it. I don't understand it, you know, um, but I live it every day. And that word I avoid, diversity, because when we talk about diversity, for people it's equals to race, mm -hmm. most of the time. Diversity is all about, you know, sexual orientation, disability, race, age, sex, the whole shebang. Talk about it in its entirety, you know. And if you're going through some form of discrimination, then you should be even more empathetic to people who are going through in different sort of sectors, mm -hmm. right? So it, it, it's one that, uh, it's, it's a difficult one because everybody has an opinion. Mm -hmm. Everybody has something to say. It impacts different people in different ways. I worked with a guy once and he said to me, darling, Opinions are like assholes, everybody's got one. Absolutely. I'm gonna use that, opinions are like <laughs> assholes, everybody's got one. <laughs> Can you come up with, I mean, oh my God. I love these, they give me life. Yes, they're so enjoyable. They, and they, I love, because we can talk about anything mm -hmm. and they, they make me happy. They make me really happy. Really and happy. I think that we've got so much to cover. We do. And so many, as we discussed before, you know, people that we can bring in and discussions we can have and, and views from others that we can take. Yeah. So it would be really nice to hear people throwing in some comments that all these people have a conversation about this. That's right. But most importantly, not that I don't care about what people's comments, I just love spending the time with you. I love the fact that my husband will say, what are you going to talk about today? Because he can see that I'm um, energised. Energised and looking forward mm -hmm. to it. And, and selfishly, I was, makes me happy. <laughs> yeah. I was really glad that I didn't mention what the question, kickoff question was going to be. Now I'm going to start thinking of a question for you next week. Okay. Because I think it means that you didn't have any time to think about it. No, but it just, it means that you listen. I talk for England. It means that you listen because you then park all these gems in you. And I can go back and think about what conversations I have with cows. I can sound smart like I was <laughs> listening. Oh, God, can I ask her? <laughs> Here ended yeah. another. Skin in the game. Skin in the game. Love it. Thank you.